Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and in this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with probability theory, uh, we're going to explore uh, what's known as Bayes' Theorem. Uh, I suppose this is a, a theorem that was developed uh, by uh, I suppose it was developed by Thomas Bayes back in the 1700s, so it's, it was developed a long, long time ago, and has actually become very, very popular today uh, in relation to in relation to Bayesian statistics and so on, uh, uh, as an alternative, I suppose, let's say, to null hypothesis, significance testing. But it's it's been used everywhere now in relation to spam filtering and and language uh, uh, voice recognition and all all, all of this sort of uh, applications. But what we want to do is we want to sort of explore this and how where where we're going to start is I suppose we're going to start with the multiplication rule. Okay, that's where we'll start. Let's say our starting point, our starting point, uh, is going to be the multiplication rule. The multiplication, the multiplication rule. We're in probability, in probability. Okay. What does the multiplication rule say? Well, it says that the probability of A and B is simply equal to the product of the individual probabilities. So it's the product of the probability of A times the probability of B under the situation of us knowing, conditioned on uh, this extra information in relation to knowing that A has happened, okay? In this situation here, this is the dependence, the dependent, the dependent uh, scenario and not one of independence, okay? So that's one way to write the rule. And I suppose we could flip, okay? We could calculate what's the probability of B and A happening. In which case we get it's the probability of B times the probability of A knowing that B has occurred. Okay, so this is two versions, yeah, a, of the same thing. Uh, if I'm interested in the probability of A and B happening, well, that's the same as asking what's the probability of B and A. So these two things should be equal. So when we equate, when we equate, let's call this I and double I. When we equate I and double i okay we get we get this that the probability of a times the probability of b knowing that a has occurred is the same as the probability of b times the probability of a knowing that, that b has occurred okay and if we solve for one of the conditionals solve for a conditional okay so solve for one of these conditionals either this here or this here <coughs> we get, well then we get the, what's known as Bayes' Theorem. We get Bayes', Bayes Theorem, okay, in, in a form where we've labelled the events as A and B. So let's solve for, the, so that's the probability of B given A is now equal to the probability of B times the probability of A given B divided by the probability probability of A okay and this thing here is what's known as Bayes' theorem okay uh, what it allows us to do is it allows us to swap the conditionals effectively okay so if I'm given information in relation to uh, the probability of A knowing that B has happened I also know the probability of B and if I know the probability of A I can always figure out what the probability of B is given A this is a little bit abstract, so let me just maybe just take this again and let's put it into maybe something that we can that we can actually maybe recognise uh, from a real world situation. Okay, so let's just let's just take this again. So we have the probability of B given A is the same as the probability of B times the probability of A given B. Okay, divided by divided by. <coughs> where it's going to say it's divided by the probability of a okay divided by the probability of a so that's what we had on the previous page okay now uh, let's think this let's think in terms so let's think okay in terms of hypothesis hypothesis let's label a hypothesis as h and observations data experimental data yeah let's label that as d okay uh, so let's just let's just swap things around here okay 
So maybe maybe I'll let A be the data and let I'm gonna actually do it that way. I'm just gonna let A be A be the data and I'm gonna let B be the hypothesis and then Bayes' theorem becomes Bayes' theorem becomes in from a hypothesis data perspective becomes that the probability of a particular hypothesis being true uh, knowing that the data is true in other words that you've seen the knowing that you, you've seen the data okay is equal to uh, it's equal to the probability now don't forget I said H is B that's what I did here so H is for B and the data is for A so B is the hypothesis so it's the probability of the hypothesis times the probability of the data uh, given the hypothesis divided by the probability of the data okay so there's two conditionals here there's two conditionals right and let's just explore them. So the first conditional, let's say, is this, is the probability of the data given the hypothesis, and the second one is the probability of the hypothesis